Welcome back to day 11 of our 12 days of Christmas games. I can't believe we're in day 11 already, but here we are. Today, we are going to play It's a Christmas Wrap. And for that, you're going to need some wrapping paper. It can be on the roll still like this, or you could decorate a bucket, or maybe even just use a present that you have already wrapped. Because what we're going to get our dogs to do is wrap around the Christmas wrapping. Now, you can teach this using shaping or luring, but for today, we're going to lure it. I'm going to get food in my hand, and I'm going to pretend that there's a string between the food and Danny's nose. And I'm going to keep it really close and get her to follow the food around the bucket. Once she does that, and is getting good in that, I can speed it up, and I can also think about removing the food from my hand so that she just follows my empty hand. And then I reward at the end. As she gets better with that, I can start to reduce my hand movement and then even add the verbal cue. Remembering that when you're adding the verbal cue, it's the verbal cue. And if they don't do it after a couple of seconds, you then give them the hand cue for it. A great way to set them up for success when you get to that stage is do a few reps with your hand cue so that they know what's expected before introducing it with the verbal cue. That makes it more likely for them to know what's expected and to build that association with the new cue a little bit quicker. So let's get started. I love this game because you can play it inside or you can play it outside. You don't need a lot of equipment or a lot of space. It builds a great relationship with your dog and it's just plain fun. So food really close to their nose, get them to follow around. So I'm basically thinking that that food is attached to Danny's nose on a string. And then we will get her to go the other way. And as they get better, you can speed it up and nearly even get them to be chasing you. Good girl. Oh my goodness. Ready? around the, the bucket at the start. It just really depends on them. As they get more experienced, you can start sending them to the bucket and then coming back to you. So you're actually building distance between you and your dog and that helps them with independence and their confidence as well. And then when you start getting up to expert level, you can set out two of them so you can send them around one and then the other with you in the middle. So it's like a figure of eight. So lots of things you can do with this game, but at the end of the day, it's just great fun for you and your dog. So from me and Danny, have a wonderful day. And I can't wait to see your videos of your dogs wrapping around the Christmas wrapping. Bye everyone. You are awesome little one. <laughs>